we stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Two more days till spring break. We're almost there. We got this. Now to weather with Mo. Currently, the temperature is 30 degrees Fahrenheit. I wish it weren't Celsius. The high today will be 43 with a low of 25. Clouds will dominate the day, but partially clear for the night. Again, a 10% chance of precipitation today, be it rain, snow, sleet, or hail. I don't know what it's going to be. Anyway, back to the studio. A huge thank you for Mrs. Fortner's community students for filling buddy bags today. Shout out, for, shout out to Wendy Seha for creating the buddy bag menu for week 27. The sad field trip for today has been canceled. Attendees who are planning on attending the field trip may see Mrs. Bishop, room 131, for more information. Now to sports with Riley. If you have been following the March Madness tournament, you would know that UMBC, otherwise known as University of Maryland, Baltimore County, upset a number one seed. This is the first time in the history of the NCAA men's basketball tournament. UMBC beat the University of Virginia, which only had two losses the entire season. Jarius Lyles was UMBC's leading scorer with 28 points and four rebounds. Speaking of March Madness, currently there is a four-way tie for first in the community bracket challenge between Ricks, Munier, Wayne Scott, and Salih. Now back to your hosts. Hello and welcome. Here were, uh, well, interviews every Wednesday. And uh, is there any other days, Salih, or is it just Wednesday? Whatever happens, you know. I mean, if, if we have room for it, we'll find room to add an extra interview. All righty. Well, today, obviously, we'll be interview interviewing with us Richard Salih. So, Salih, any plans for HDTV? Um, I think the sky's the limit with, with the whole hot dog network, you know, with the radio, the TV, um, even the chatter. Um, you know, we've been in communication with MTC with possibility partnership, doing maybe some commercials, doing some play-by-play -play on games. Um, and then I'm trying to meet up with Russ Casper over at China A9, hopefully within the week or two. Um, so maybe make a partnership there with the radio station as well. So um, we're just going to keep trying to push it forward, try to make one of the best programs, hopefully in the state. All right. So what would you consider to be the biggest success of this year? You know, I think the biggest success is the fact that we're getting uh, our uh, likes are, are up on videos, um, our memberships or, or our follows or subscriptions to our YouTube channel, our views are always over 100. Um, students are watching. Um, we're going to continue to try to make it even better so they want to watch more. It's not just about the information. We want to make it entertaining. We want to put a smile on every student and teacher's face in the morning. Um, again, I guess I can go back to the roadblocks. We want to do that during first period. The, one of the fails is we haven't been able to put it out on time, um, but it's because we're, we're taking chances and we're going out there and we're doing things that are a little bit different. And sometimes we, we do hit those roadblocks of technology issues or um, it's not something that we're doing the same thing every single day. All right, so more kind of off topic, but you think, you know, after a whole gallon of coffee, you might OD. You know, Are you feeling okay? Cause I, I feel good. I use the big coffee cups because I want to make sure that I can start my next pot as soon as uh, I get this one in my cup. Well, that, that is the pot yeah, <laughs> by so, the looks of it. Um, I see, see, I could probably fit that whole cup inside of yours. Now, would you think your uh, excess of caffeine is because of this class or? You know, I wouldn't say it's just this class. I love everything that I do. It's just I'm doing a lot. Yeah. When, you're, when you're coaching wrestling, you're coaching track, you're, you're um, trying to play with your girls at home, you know, I'm having fun with my girls uh, when I can, when I have the energy to. Um, so yeah, it's, it's adding a new challenge, and I mean, that's what makes life fun, is when you add challenges. If things are easy and boring, then um, you're not going to have a smile on your face. All right, so to mind this off with uh, any advice for students wanting to join this class or, you know, just want to be a part of this. And my, feel, my feelings about this class and all parts of radio and television that we have here is that you want to play. Like, if you want to get up and come to school and play, that's what we do in here. Um, we don't play video games, but we do play with cameras and we play with technology. And um, every day that we get a new piece of equipment in here, I want, you to, you, I want students are going to be excited about opening that box. It's like the unopening or the unpackaging of products that you see on YouTube where people do the unboxings. 
Um, that's how I feel like every day when we get something new in here, we get to unbox it, we get to figure out what it's what it's capable of. Um, so just a willingness to, to work and play, kind of, and it's it's fun work. It's just you got we got to wake up. I know mornings are difficult. That's why we have the big coffee mug. Um, but yeah, just a willingness to work hard while you play. All righty. But uh, well, thanks for making me force you on here and uh, get you out of your comfort zone in front of the camera. And so that's, uh, that's it for today. Tune in next week and uh, we'll have more interviews for you. Four seniors were randomly drawn from those who completed the evaluation to receive gift cards to Milky Way. Those winners are Kayla Chapin, Brianna Gibbons, JT Whitlock, and Eric Gordado. Please see Mrs. Harshman for your certificates. If you're interested in joining HDTV next year, Please see Mr. Shalee for more details. There will, also, there will also be a lost and found table set up across the bookstore and the main entry. Please stop by to check if anything belongs to you. For lost jewelry, wallets, and valuable items, please ask for Mr. Jameson. That's all for the daily announcements. We'll end off with an interview brought to you by Ivan in honor of National Poetry Day. Good morning, FHS. I'm currently with Mrs. Guess. So, um, did you know it's International Poetry Day? I do know it's International Poetry Day. Mm, how'd you find out? You told me. I know. You're so special. Anyways, uh, do you like teaching poetry to your uh, students? I do like teaching poetry to my students. In English 9, we had a poetry cafe this year, and all of the English 9 uh, classes got to participate. Oh, wow. I was in it. So, um, it was really fun. Um, do you like writing poems? I don't often write my own poetry. You don't? Mm. Why? I, I don't know. I just don't write a lot of poetry. I'm too too uh, bloggy. I write in prose. Do you have a favorite poem? I do have a favorite poem. Um, it's hard to choose. I'm an English teacher, so I'm a professional nerd. But I would say my favorite poem is Enough by Andrea Gibson. And Mrs. Johnson actually shared a really great po poem with the team this year, and it was called Speaking in Tongues. And I cannot pronounce the gentleman's last name, but um, it's a phenomenal poem. Wow. Um, can you tell us about your favorite poem? Uh, Andrea Gibson's uh, Enough is a spoken word poetry and um, sort of the beat poem. Um, and so is... Um, uh, Juan Joaquin, that's who it's by, um, speaking in tongues, and they're both like s like that spoken word slam poem. All right, Not poems that you read, you know, quietly. They're poems that you uh, that are meant to be heard. Wow, so like um, inspirational poems. All right, I'm Ivan Santos, and back to the studio.